Welcome to this video demonstration on the Interact software system for the construction industry. We're going to have a quick look through uh, this video to see a bit about what information the system can store about customers, jobs, estimating and quotes etc. If you'd like to see a more detailed version of this uh, video please click on the construction full demonstration. In the software we can have any number of customers. Each customer can have any number of contact names, delivery addresses, contact history, jobs, as well as links through to other debtors information, debtors ledger, contact information, accounts contact, debt collection, etc. When we pick a job, we can come through and create detailed estimating on this job. We can have multiple estimates on one job. That job can be broken down into sections. Each of those sections can have their own costs, whether they be labor, materials, subcontractors, sundry costs, we can create a estimate report that's going to show us all the details of the sections of the job that we've uh, got, the costs underneath each of those sections. We can create quotations and one job can have multiple quotations. There's options to have phase type quotes which break down the job into the different sections with prices for each section based on what we've put into the estimate. Alternate print to have it come up as a Word document instead which obviously can then be modified. We have detailed versions of the quote both in Word and our normal print, summarized versions of the quote, line by line summaries where we can key in different headings with unit prices, although it's linked to the estimate it's not limited by the cost price that we have on the estimate, and itemized quotes. These types of quotes are just templates that can be used as a starting point to create your own quotes and have those changed to meet your specific needs. I recently had a client who wanted to use the phase type invoice but instead of showing details uh, of the different cost groups he wanted to show quantities, units of measure and unit prices. It took about 10-15 minutes to, uh, to change the layout of that report to, uh, to meet the format requirements of the client. There are options to have terms and conditions, clauses, images underneath your quotes as well. When we convert to budget, we're able to key in a contract uh, price that we've agreed to, what the contract reference number is. We can have details of the site, how many stories it is, the age, etc. Other scopes of works that we might have, related documents, risk assessments. We've also got the option to be able to have a, a checklist of tasks that need to be performed. These can be assigned to staff members. We can add in new ones specific to this job, we can show the status of them, when we expect to start them and finish them, and how long these tasks might be taking. We have also can link in documents through to this job, comments or text boxes on the job. And once we've won the job, we can come through and uh, see details of the transactions that we might have underneath the job. Timesheets that we're keen in, of who's done work, what part of the job they were on, what type of work they were doing where we can put in things like sundry costs to the job. We can also create automatic purchase orders based on the material requirements that we uh, need for the job. The system sees that we don't have the tiles that we need for this job. We've got our default supplier. It creates a pre-purchase order and then creates the real purchase orders if we're happy with the supplier and the, the prices etc that it's going to use. Those can then be emailed out, printed, converted to PDFs. We can do the same sort of thing with subcontractors and works orders for them, have a look at what work we need to do from the cost estimate that we had created and create automatic suggested works orders to the subbies to say hey look we need you to come out on site and do rubbish removal and carpentry work. We can assign those tasks to specific subcontractors under the estimate in which case it will use their details. As we're keen in these costs to the job we've got our budget that we expected of costs. We can see what our budget cost was, actual costs to date, what our budget sell is, what margin we've got running on this. It will show us details in here not only of actual costs that have come through to date as well as outstanding committed costs of purchase orders etc that are still waiting to come in. And we can drill down into the details and have a look at the specifics of a particular labour item, or material, whatever we might need. If we're wanting to see how the job's going, we've got a simple job transaction report here which will show us invoices that have been created, labour costs that have gone to the job, machines, materials, and the summary at the end. We've also got this job financial screen which is going to give us a complete snapshot of where the job's up to, what we've invoiced, what our original contract sum was, variations that have been approved, work in progress balances, budgets profit as well as expected profit. We've got budget reports as well for the software. 
where we can see what our budget costs were by each of the sections compared to our actuals. We can create variations to the job and print those off to send to our customer for approval. There's a lot of different reports, inquiry screens, uh, details of where we can store pictures on the job, other job documents within the other systems, standard letters. We can have a job images folder where we can store pictures of the site. We can also have directions of how to get to the site. On a job, we do have the option to be able to print out a invoice reconciliation which shows us a summary of the contract that we're dealing with at the moment the original contract sum, any variations we might have, invoices to date, receipts already paid, retentions being held on us, balances outstanding. So we can send that information out to a client at any stage to give them an idea of where we're up to on their particular job. We've also got multiple print formats in the same way for quotes that we do for invoicing. You can see here that we've got a landscape version of the phase rep invoice. We've got the contract value, variations, previously invoiced, current invoice value and the same again in a portrait format with just slightly less uh, information across the screen. Details like these credit cards and things like that, users can turn those information uh, off from their system if that's not required. If you have any other questions about the system please contact sales at interact.com.au or 1300 66 Thank you.